Okay, welcome back to Stalkers for part five. The end of the road. Okay, just to recap, um, part four, we covered, uh, uh, I think it was Bass, wasn't it? Global texture rework, Odin's grass and tweaks. Um, put in the reshade, which looks pretty sweet. Uh, so in part five, we're gonna cover the game settings and uh, the mod configuration menu settings. Uh, improving the enhanced shaders PBR settings and improving the screen space shader settings. Now, bearing in mind, if we start messing around with the screen space shader settings, it's going to lower your FPS a lot. Uh, so, I really rec only recommend this for high end PCs. Uh, just to give you an idea of what I'm running. Uh, where are we? So I've got a 12th gen i7, coupled with 16 gigs of memory, and an RTX 380 laptop G GPU. Uh, it's a eight gigabyte, I think. Okay, so that gives you an idea of what I'm running. So let's go into the game. First of all, we'll play around with the visuals. So basic visuals, uh, I like my field of view at 70. Uh, when you're running bass, they recommend 70. I can't be done with this wide angle tunnel vision thing. So 70 is good for me. Uh, borderless windowed, we go to advanced. Stalker's headlamps, yep. Vertical sync, yes. FPS limit are off. Now, if you're running an NVIDIA card, you can actually go into the NVIDIA control panel and uh, specify program settings for Stalker Anomaly uh, using the exec, the DX11 AVX exec as your starting point. Um, from there, there's a few tips and tricks where you can increase the frames, um, uh, enable VSync in there. But for the moment, we'll use the game VSync. So at the moment, the world's set low. High end, we can increase all of these stack objects up, dynamic objects up, distant shadow culling on. Ramp the texture detail way up. Object detail. Some people like to leave it at one. I'm going to max it out. Antistropic filtering 16 by default. I will put that on. Now, anti lazing. The game's anti lazing is pretty crap. Uh, so, again, in your NVIDIA control panel, I'm not sure about the AMD cards, but uh, you can enable that in there. Um, depending on the resolution of your monitor, mine's a 1440p or 2K. Um, without anti aliasing it doesn't look too bad. Obviously, if you're running a 4K, it's going to look perfect without. Um, the SMAA A off. Uh, detail bump on. I normally leave parallax off, tessellation off. Now, the grass density. Now, this is the frame killer. Again, depending on your rig, I normally have it set to about three quarters. Rendering distance, 130. And I don't like my grass too high, so I normally whack that down to seven, 0 0.7. Grass shadows on. That's important for screen space shaders as well. Uh, lighting distance, all the way up. Shadow quality, all the way up. Active shadow, so you can see yourself. Up to you. Uh, specular gloss, don't play around with that. Um, enhanced shaders is handling that. Sun shadow quality extreme. Now the sun rays mode, uh, I normally keep it volumetric. That seems to look the best. Um, or you can have both. But I think volumetric looks the best. Sun rays quality high. I normally don't touch the uh, the intensity. 
SSAO mode, you want SSDO because you're running screen space shaders. SSAO quality, high or medium, up to you. Volumetric light, yes. Soft water on, particles on. Depth of field, definitely no. Motion blur, no. Wet surfaces, yep. Yeah. Volumetric smoke, yep. Yeah. Okay, so that's good for that. So we're going to change those settings in game and restart the game. Sometimes it crashes out when you do this. Okay, so the game crashed out on me with that one when we updated all those settings. I think the X-ray engine got a little bit confused. Uh, so back in the main menu, we'll go to the mod configuration menu. And we'll just have a look at the SSS settings. So here we've got the flora fixes. Now here you can change the grass specular, the wet specular, uh, trees and the wet trees and bushes. Um, we won't actually do that now um, because what we're going to do, we're going to change the enhanced shaders PBR settings first and then that will give us a, that's a, that's a hard, hard change if you like or a hard tweak then we can always come back in here and order that after just to get it looking nice interactive grass don't really need to change anything on there rain, rain enhances uh, render quality depend on your rig you can put that down a little bit I mean it doesn't really affect it I don't think FBS so um, Rain speed, maybe you want to change that. There. Now the footsteps, the main in-game footstep sound is a bit loud. So I tend to bring that down a bit. Uh, volume variation. That's okay, you can leave that. Um, let's go to Shadow Cascades. Now again, depending on your rig, is default on low. So this affects the shadows uh, and the grass shadows distance from the sun. So I normally have this on uh, medium. Now the grass shadows distance, I do increase up a bit because there's nothing worse than sh uh, grass shadows popping in as you're running along. So we'll put that up to about 60. And the max distance, I'm going to put that at 40. Okay, wetness. Gloss settings. So obviously the gloss will affect the metals and um, texture reflections. Uh, we'll leave that default for the minute because like I said, we're going to uh, play around with the PBR settings first. <clears throat> um, initially I will increase the specular intensity as well. I had that on 0.5 before in the other game, so that looks really, really nice. Especially on the metals. Okay, so we'll change those. Apply. Okay. Now, we're going to exit out of there. We're going to go back to the main game folder. Now you want to go to game data. Shaders. R3. Now in here we can change all the uh, PBR settings and the screen space shader settings. Uh, let's just exit out the game quickly. So we'll do the PBR first. So scroll down. And you want PBR settings. Now this is the reason we asked you to install Notepad++ because uh, it's just easier to use than the default Windows Notepad. So here you can see we've got the albedo, which is the texture strength. Don't normally play around with that. The roughness of the textures. And the specular. Now, um, screen space shaders, uh, because it messes around with the gloss text and specular settings itself, 
uh, you lose that enhanced shader sheen on the, uh, the ground textures, which I really like, you know, coming from the sun, and, uh, the fires and everything. So we need to increase that to 0 0.04. And I like the specular power a little bit stronger, a little bit brighter. So put that at 1.1. Uh, the metalness boost, you don't need to change that because you've increased the specular ranges. Uh, so they should look alright. So we'll save that. Press save. Okay, so that's done for that. That's the enhanced shaders settings. And we can go down to settings for the screen space shaders. You've got a bunch here, starting with AO, ambient occlusion, all the way down. I mean, you don't need to change them all, but bear it in mind that you need a high-end rig if you want to increase these settings. So let's have a look at the uh, ambient occlusion. Rendering distance, not really that important. Uh, the general AO intensity, I normally bump up to 9. Uh, floor intensity, no, I'll leave that as it is. Uh, the ambient inclusion on the weapons, uh, you might want to change that a little bit. To be honest, it's not that no much noticeable. Um, uh, I think SS depth occlusion, detailed radius. Um, I'm going to wrap that. It adds an extra check to the uh, ambient occlusion search by default more detailed. So let's put that at 5. I'll leave the weapons. That's what we'll do for ambient occlusion. Don't forget to save. Okay, come out of that. Uh, D bands. You can increase the D banding quality if you wish. I'll put it on 3. Flora, I don't think there's anything to change in there. We'll have a look. No, uh, fog. I would mess around with that. I did before, and it sort of like made things a bit weird. Indirect lighting, we can change the quality of that. So we'll put that at three. And save. Uh, puddles, I don't think you can change the quality in that. Uh, screen space reflections. Okay, by default it's uh, very low. Now this is quite a um, system killer, so we'll put this at 3. Anything else? No. Just the main set in there. Screen space shadows. Again, shadows always a performance set on your FPS, so I'm going to bump that up to 48. And finally, water. There's not too much water in the game, so um, I'm going to put that on Ultra. Uh, I don't like the, what, the way the waves uh, ripple over the water, so I'm going to reduce that. It seem, they seem to move too fast, so this will slow down the waves. So we'll put that on 0 0.3. Um, now because you're changing the water wave's intensity, It says here, you know, you may need to adjust this if you change the value of the waterways intensity. Um, I normally drop that to to one. Otherwise, you, you otherwise you might get shimmering artifacts. Uh, you can also change the the border factor, how soft you want the water as it hits the shore. So, but I'll leave that as it is. So save. Okay, and that's pretty much done. So we'll need to run the game again. We'll go all the way back. Now, because you're making a lot of different changes, 
delete the shader cache. Let's load her in. Okay, so we're back in game. Uh, I think I've got the weather on clear too here. Just double check. Okay. It's looking pretty good. Uh, for me, it's a little bit too colourful. So we can go back into the settings. And drop the colour down. Looks a little bit better. The specular on the grass and the trees doesn't look too bad. Now, let's check it on clear one. And we'll do early morning. So as you can see on the ground textures, <clears throat> you've got reflections from the sun in certain parts. And you've got refraction from the branches and the uh, leaves on the trees. So yeah, overall looking pretty good. I mean, like I say, you've got to uh, tweak it to your liking. Um, play around with the reshade. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, there's just one more thing um, regarding grass shadows. I'm not sure we can see it on here because it's... Increase the, uh... Uh, for in-game screenshots and videos, maybe it's a bit of a performance hit. But what you can do is go into the console, type in SSFX, go all the way down to grass shadows, and this will increase the distance of the grass shadows. And you want to type three. Comma one, comma one, comma one. And that'll increase your grass shadows. So there's not so much popping. I mean, it's not that noticeable on this build because uh, I've got the grass density really, really high. So, but yeah, that's it. So I hope you like this tutorial. Um, enjoy. And I'm just about to get eaten by a dog.